Oh hello, welcome back. Let's create this slit scan kinetic typography look in Adobe After Effects where some parts of the text will create this you know, like pixelated look in some parts. So uh, let's do this. Well, I have two images, an image of the text that will be animated soon and also this. I'll tell you later on what the use of the light bulb is. All right, we have um, the text image, right click on it and then create a new composition from selection just like so. Then you copy it and paste it just like this. And then for this, um, drag the anchor point. Hold the Y key on your keyboard, drag it to the left, just like so, make sure it's left. And for this one, hold the Y key on your keyboard and then drag it to the right. Drag the anchor point to the right, just like so. What we're going to do now is to make this a uh, spinning cube effect at first. So uh, make sure that the chain is turned off. Turn on the stopwatch for scale. And then let's say if you want the text to stop moving at um, five seconds, for example, and then you um, you do some tweaks. Decrease it to zero so that the text will move and appear from the right to the left. And then, um, hold on, from the right to the left, that's to say. And then you uh, turn it to zero at first for the uh, for the text below. And at five seconds, you make it appear just like this and then it will look like this oh yeah that's the spinning cube effect so uh, let's do some easy ease so that it's smooth set the velocity to set the influence to 2000 so that it looks like this looking smooth now so uh, now let's create a hold on let's create a new composition and then Set the resolution to 1080 and 60 FPS, 15 seconds, and now you're good to go. Drag tongue tips into it, and then uh, when you're done, uh, simply scale it just like so. Make it smaller, and then right click on it. No, right click on this, and then you click on recompose, and then do it just like this, and then click on OK. And then click on uh, right click on the left side of the timeline, and then head over to solid click on it and then make it white, uh, head over to effects, generate and then uh, gradient ramp, make it like this. The black area of this gradient will be the one that slows down the motion and the white one will be the area that speeds up the motion of uh, this composition. Right click on the solid, click on pre-compose, make sure that the attributes are all, are all moved into the new composition so uh, click on OK afterwards and then when you're done um, you uh, select the text layer and then head over to effects time and then time displacement change the layer into white solid just like this and then oh yeah look now there's this scan effects you can decrease it so that it looks more pixelated decrease the time resolution so that it looks more pixelated just like so hold on yeah just like this is enough let's go let's go to the um, just like this maybe let's go to the uh, gradient background double click on it and then uh, we can add some you know, like variations for example um, this light bulb logo from tongue tips and then you can even animate the light bulb icon from the logo of tongue tips so that it rotates and gets zoomed in and then it will slow down the text within the area of the light bulb icon and then it may turn into this oh my god that looks really aesthetic it's as if you're looking at an analog tv glitching so uh that's it for the video about slit scan kinetic typography look in after effects thanks for watching do drop a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel but for me it's good day ciao